Hey Aries, welcome to Queen Air Bandit Tarot. We're going to do your general love energy read for the week of November 13th through the 20th. Keep in mind these are general readings, so they cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. If you need a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Also, these are intuitive reads, so I will always read the um, traditional sense of the card, but what we're picking up is the energies that I'm being given intuitively, okay? As always, on Wednesdays, we do love reads because we are working with the energy of the goddess Venus. The goddess Venus covers energies regarding love, beauty, finance, and health. So if you want to do any rituals, prayers, and meditations regarding those topics, Wednesdays would be the absolute best day to do those. Also, as always, we charge both decks with our crystal organite pucks and your personalized astrological sign card. So we are doing our general love reading energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus people, okay? As always, and just in case you are new to the channel, I do two cards. One card is your general overall energy, and the second card is the possible outcome. And then we clarify both cards, okay? Hope everybody's doing well. We just had a full moon yesterday. And 11-11, um, <clears throat> look at that card when the fly was this. Magician in reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, uh, Gemini or Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Possibly, because that's the energy that you see how that just flew out. Um, we just had a full moon yesterday in the sign of Taurus. And then we had 11-11 the day before that. So this weekend's energy has been very, it's been very busy for a lot of people. So hopefully you guys are coping with those energies well. Because it was busy for me, but not in a bad way. And I hope the same for you guys. Okay, so let's see what we pick up for you guys. We're going to do one. One energy card. <clears throat> let's see what we get for you guys. And usually before I meditate on you guys. Oh, that flipped up quick. Two of Pentacles. Usually, before I meditate, before you guys readings, I always get like songs and things of that nature. But mm -mm, I didn't get anything, and that doesn't mean anything negative. It just means like, like I said, there was so much going on this weekend that it's possible that it's just so much energy going on. And I feel like that's the case for the simple fact that you see how those cards just flew out. And usually, it takes a minute to shuffle before cards start flying out. But these are flying out quickly. Um, we're doing love, right? So two of pentacles could be talking about you possibly juggling two different options, two different people that you're interested in. It could be vice versa. Somebody, two different people, somebody that you're dealing with could be dealing with two different people. We'll see. Give us one card for the possible outcome for the two of pentacles. And then keep in mind, pentacles are earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with one of those people. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Doesn't have to be. I'm just putting the signs out there because I know a lot of people like the signs. Look, the first two went to fly. Okay. And the other one didn't want to come out at all. Okay. Yeah, you guys could definitely be dealing with an earth sign because what flipped over now is the King of Pentacles. Okay. So what I'm picking up is that you guys could definitely be dealing with an earth sign because both signs are pinnacle cards. Both cards are pinnacle cards. And then also I'm feeling like this person... With this being the king of pentacles, this person could be very financially stable. This person who's interested in you or the person that you're interested in. Let's draw our clarifying cards to get a little more information about this person that you might be dealing with. Or person that you might be interested in. Wow. Okay, and usually when I shuffle and I part the deck... If I'm guided to look at the cards that's facing us, I always do. And then, because those are underlying energies. When I did the first shuffle, I seen this Four Swords. And now it's popping up again. So you could be taking a break from somebody or you could be taking a rest from something. And again, we're talking about relationships. So something's going on in the relationship sector. Maybe you're taking a break from this um, Earth sign. Maybe this Earth sign is taking a break from you. Because we see the Three of Swords over the person's heart. And we know the Three of Swords is about heartbreak. But then there's one more sword down here. So you got one more fight and you always pick that up as there's possibly one more fight, one more, um, the thought of possibly going back into it for one more try. Okay. And I say that in the yeah, fight because you got the five of wands. I'm going to turn it up right so you guys can see it. We know the five of wands is about conflict. 
arguments, disagreements. And it, and I just said, with your four popping up, even though we're not pulling these cards, these are underlying energies. I was guided to look at it. You know, you guys might be having some type of conflict with someone with strong earth sign traits in their chart. So let's see how that plays out with the rest of your reading, okay? I feel like that's good. Okay. Let's get one general card. One clarifying card, sorry. For your two of pentacles. One clarifying card for your two of pentacles. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you got the justice. And then also flipped out. was four cups in reverse. Okay. All right, Aries. So let's start from the beginning. Your general energy is the two of pentacles. When you get it closer, you can see the imagery. Clearly, this person is making a way in their options. Okay, you see how it kind of looks like the Libra scale, like they're balancing and weighing their options. What I'm noticing, and I need you guys to pay attention to, because I pay attention to every detail in the card, because especially if I'm drawn to it, because that's part of your message. Um, in the background, you see a ship. We don't know if this ship is coming towards us or away from us. Okay, and then I also see one dolphin right usually when you see dolphins on cars you know dolphins coming too you never see one dolphin by itself so the fact of the matter is and then this dolphin is closest to this pinnacle that's elevated higher which is letting me know that it's a possibility that you've made a decision in love regarding somebody that you're interested in i feel like you had two people that you were interested in but you you hold one person in higher regard than the other most definitely. And I, I know that to be the case because you're clarifying your possible outcome is the king of pentacles. Right? So like I said, you could possibly, this could be vice versa. Take it as it applies. It could possibly be that a Capricorn is doing this with you. I don't know why I said Capricorn. Okay, I'm being God to say Capricorn. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus person. Because that just came out very easily. Okay? Um... But it doesn't have to be a Capricorn. So some of you guys could be dealing with a person who was making a decision about you. And they decided that, yes, I'm going to move forward with this Aries. Or again, vice versa. You could have finally decided, okay, I'm very interested in this, this person, this earth sign person. And you set, you're sitting down and you're ready to set roots with that person. Right? This is your general energy and your clarifying card is justice like i said you have decided that yes and wow that's interesting because look i just said this looks like the libra scales and what do you have right here holding the scales so like i said you also could be dealing with a libra keep that in mind again i throw out the signs because a lot of people like to hear the signs and then i just throw out the energies that i'm i'm being presented with you guys could be dealing with a libra because the justice does represent libra and i didn't even think about that when i looked at this as the scales you guys could be dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, a Venus person. But also, more than anything, like I said, you have made a final decision about a person that you're interested in. Okay? So, so far, we have Earth sign and Water sign energies here. You would know how that applies to your situation. But more than anything, you know, you're making a decision that you are interested in this, in this Earth sign person. Or this Earth sign person is deciding that they're interested in you. And it looks like there's going to be forward movement on acting in it. Your possible outcome is the King of Pentacles. And then the clarifying card is the Four of Cups in reverse. I'm going to hold it upright so that you can see the imagery. Okay, so with you having the Four of Cups as your clarifying card for your King of Pentacles, it seems like there was somebody <clears throat> initially who wasn't seeing an offer or you weren't giving an offer to. But now it's coming up in reverse because upright... This is someone who's not seeing that offer. You know, all they're seeing is like, you know, it might have been, like I said, you, you're you juggling, okay? You or this person may have been juggling, and that's why you have three cups here. That's that's more than a couple. That's three different people, and this person is, has their arms crossed and they're pouting about it because they feel like, you know, you're giving your energy and time to too many people. They're not seeing that you're interested in them and that you're willing to offer something love-based, emotional to them. But like I said, this came up in reverse because you have finally decided that, yes, I'm going to set roots with this person. I'm interested in roots with this person or I'm interested in moving forward with this person. And I feel like that's going to happen fairly soon because you're, like I said, you know, kings, 
rule over their kingdom and they know what they want and then you see this huge he's sitting on a, a throne of a huge pinnacle we know that's something grounded something stable something that has long-term energy behind it right and he looks very comfortable and confident he knows what's going on right and we just had a full moon yesterday so we can either be looking and but this the way that shadow is this doesn't appear to look like a full moon right but I say that to say that we're coming off of a full moon. So sometime within this week, you could be looking at presenting an offer or talking to someone about an interest with them. Okay. But keep in mind, at one point, you had this person feeling like they were just an option. So when you go into the situation, you want to go into the situation in a peaceful and just way and let this person know that you're no longer juggling. Okay. Because I feel like that's an issue for this person. This person... You know, they're not even looking at that cup. They're looking down and their arms are crossed. They're not even open to extending their arms and taking this offer. So keep in mind at one point, this person very well may have felt like they were just an option, which from the reading, it looks like they were, but you have to kind of give them that confidence. Not kind of, you definitely have to give them the confidence and let them know that, you know, they're the choice. They're the person that you chose. And again, this could be vice versa. If it's not you making the decision and it's the earth sign or the person with the strong earth sign, um, characteristics in their chart you have to keep in mind that yes at one point they weren't giving you what they wanted but if they're coming to you and they're speaking because i feel like this person's going to come to you speak very clearly it's not going to be some oh i was thinking about oh i'm i'm possibly interested no this person is going to be very certain in how it is that they connect with you and how it is that they address you and this person is serious about this offer. And if this is you, then you need to let this person know how serious you are about the offer so that you can get them confidence and that they can know that, you know, it's no back and forth. You're certain about them. Okay. So, okay, Aries, that was your general love read for the week of November 13th through the 20th. As always, I ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.